Euralia, a prosperous land, home to many tribes. The gods entrusted the bird tribes to watch over the others. The tribe founded Pegaria, and all lived in harmony under the banner of the Pegarian Empire. Until seven years ago, when Pegaria began recruiting the dog and cat tribes. As their strength grew, the other tribes suffered. To protect themselves from Pegarian oppression, the scattered rodent and bear tribes formed an alliance, led by a rebel named Ratika. Tonight, the Pegarian Empire launches a brutal assault on the Rodentian capital under orders of Emperor Rindrick. When the capital falls, his conquest of Euralia And far from the front lines, one who could have brought peace, the godless priestess Vera, has been murdered. In her absence, there is no one left to protect Euralia and its people. The end times are near. Euralia needs a savior. Emperor warned us about Redemption's sorcery. Kill the intruder, quick! But sir, that glow, that sword, is it the Harbinger? What? You think it's the end of the world? Do you see any floods? Any earthquakes? No, sir. But the elders, they say the Harbinger comes to prevent the end of the world, not cause it. Could be the Harbinger, or a Redention Sorcerer. I'm not taking any chances. Your best fighter is dead! Catch! Ludimir? You, you killed Ludimir? Your friend thought he could storm in and kill Emperor Injigal by himself. I can tell you this. He met the Emperor all right. And when he did, well, your friend's death was slow, and painful. You're sick, just like your master. And where's your emperor now, anyway, huh? Too sacred to show up for battle? Oh, don't you worry. Indrik is coming. And he's more powerful now than you can ever imagine. But you will not get to bask in his light. For Odentia! What is that thing, sir? Their attention to toying with dark magic! Attack! I will make things right, sister. Indrek! I will smash your precious temple to bits if you don't come out! What it is? Did you investigate the godless priestess? That look in your eyes. You have never heard of the priestess. Mm. Where to begin? Ever since the first godless priestess appeared, the world has been a safer place. As if she scares the darkness away. But now the priestess is dead. Murdered. I am certain this is what has brought you here. Her murder is a sign of great danger. I only wish... I had... 
had more time. I should have seen it. Sooner. You there! What are you? Wait. Did you kill General Draga? Murderer! I'll have your head for this! Torn by war has come to an end. After 300 years, the great serpent Voden has returned to devour the world. The Harbinger, awakened to fight this threat, learned of the godless priestess, of her role in protecting Euralia, and of her murder. But this was no simple murder. The immortal soul of the priestess always returns to the world. Always. But not this time. Vodun's return was planned. The world has ended. But there is yet a flicker of hope. Harbinger! Focus on my voice. Let me help. Harbinger. So I can summon you here. Thank the gods. Do you know who I am? Then you did not inherit your predecessor's memories. We have no time to worry about that. Know that you are the Harbinger. You are the eyes of Euralia. You are its sword. And you are the only hope we have left. When Voden is done devouring the world, he will find this place. No, he is already searching for it. And when he finds it, well... Well, fighting Vodin is now impossible. Too strong. Even if you are victorious, there is not much of a world left to save. Harbinger, I brought you here for a reason. There is a way to save Euralia. But it will not be easy. I cannot force you to accept. But if you are willing, then come to me. Thank you, Harbinger. The Tree of Life. There is ancient power here. One that transcends the bonds of space and time. That power can send you into the past. You will have a chance to investigate the death of the godless priestess. If you find her soul, then the Tree of Life can spin it back to Euralia, and that may be enough to prevent Vodin from appearing in the first place. And we have a suspect, Emperor Indric. You saw his war. There is no end to his ambition and cruelty. He may even be mad enough to unleash Vodin, and that means murdering the godless priestess and hiding her soul. The souls you bonded with, the tree can latch on to them send you to the dawn of their last day. There is Ludomir, who died at the hands of the Emperor. If you meet Ludomir before his death, if you follow him, you will find Indric. Then there is Draga, who seems to understand the stakes. She may help your investigation in a way no one else can. Investigate the Emperor and the death of the godless priestess. Find her soul. But which lead will you follow? Draga or Ludimir? Make your choice. There has to be a way to stop Vodin. Find it. Ludimir? Listen to me. 
They will cut you down before you reach the gates. And what do you suggest? Wait for it to be over? Yeah, everything will be tickety-boo. At least bring a squad along. Who, eh? Rattica's mob. Everyone's up their arse with the big fight. Besides, they'll just get in the way. Nah, I'll kill the Emperor on my own. You mean, die trying. You better pay your tab before you go. All of it. Yeah, yeah. Just pour me another, will ya? That seat's taken, mate. Ludimir, that's... It's the Harbinger. Ha! <laughs> Harbinger, my ass. Except... Well, she matches the storybook pictures. Sort of. Ludimir! <laughs> Harbinger. Please forgive him. Yeah, he doesn't... Well, if you are the Harbinger, what are you here for? Taking in the sights? Before Rodentia's rubble, I suppose. What's that look for? I didn't cause this mess. <laughs> Thank Hendrick for that. Well, as much fun as this chat has been, I'm off. Big day. The Harbinger. Here. This will be interesting. Tagging along, eh? You know it's a suicide mission, right? Most Imperials believe their leader is in Rodentia right now. What with the invasion and all, Indrik went to a lot of effort to fool his subjects to keep his secret. But I know better. Whatever he's plotting here must be huge. Anyway, does it really matter to me? I'm here for one thing only. Make him answer for what he did. Yo, come your ears, mate! These monsters! Cyphers, they call them. There's more of them every day. They just pop in and kill anything on sight. Who taught you to fuck like that? Nicely done. My dad was the one who taught me. A stubborn old bear. If it had been up to my mom, I'd be river fishing day in and day out. Say, mate. Harbinger. They say you shot when the world is about to end or something. That can't be right, can it? It's Sindrick. He's done something. That's why you're here. That bastard. Turn back, intruders. In the name of Emperor Indrik, I command you. Oh, just shut up and fuck it. Lousy construction, eh? Noticed all those locked doors we passed. Fancy mystical seals. And this one? This door is special. It's where all the emperors are buried. Think of all the secrets they took with them. Still, unless you're close to Indrik, there's no getting through. Wow. You're ruthless. We're very close now, mate. I can smell. Huh. Indrik's scent just changed. Sulfur? Cinder? Huh. Wonder what that means. Intruders! You've got guts making it this far. I will enjoy turning you to ash. Lucky I'm here, right? Luton. My guards must be dead then. I can always trust in you to blindly charge in without... And who's that with you? Ah, don't worry your feathers over it, Emperor. I'm here to end you. Ah, it had to come to this. I once saw greatness in you. But I did not press hard enough. All right! Let's hit him hard, mate! I am sorry that Ludimir pulled you into his foolishness, mate. 
how you'll both die. Hey! Injury! Got a broom? Don't you dare look at me. You've no idea of the harm. No! That's our cue, mate. Run! You look upset, mate. What? Did you want to chat with our late Emperor? Have a spot of tea, maybe? Mm. Trust me, the only conversation you have with you is if you were in chains with a hot iron in your eye. <laughs> May have overdone it a little bit. Smashing it all. Now you can stretch it, mate. Why don't get all the fuss about the bitches taking the time to kill it? Fjordball, come out here! I'm not dead, which means you're open for business. Oh. 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 Fine, I'll celebrate with my friend here, Harbinger, or whatever it is you call yourself. You did good back there. Well, wouldn't have survived on my own, that's for sure. So much for long live the Emperor. More like, may he burn in hell, and the world's better off for it. Never thought I'd live to see Endric gone. After all, he... Ah, uh, I'm blathering on. Your turn, Arbinger. Now that we killed Indrik, is your... Uh, mission complete? Did you stop the apoc... If it's not one thing, it's... Uh... Once again, the giant snake Vulcan, avatar of the Great Void surges forth to devour the world. The chain of events triggered by the death of the godless priestess have played out as they have before. The truth must be found, and Vodin must be stopped. General, give me two battalions and I shall capture the core for you. I do not doubt it, but those battalions would turn the battlefield into a graveyard for them and the Rodentians both. Iron Trek's fury is the key for a swift victory. My lady is wise. But what if the fury fails us during the assault? Then we walk. Now, let us review the battle plan once more. Our main army will initiate a frontal assault. We will simultaneously hit the northern and eastern gates. When we do, Emperor Indrik will bring the fury through the rear. Assuming we can trust the source. The Emperor secured the information personally. We will follow the Rodentians' secret path through the Dead Forest into the heart of their city. We will seize the core and end their resistance. Intruder! I will protect you with my life, General. Stand down, Captain. If murder was her intent, she would have already struck. No. I've read of this figure. The Harbinger. Harbinger. Why do you grace us with your presence? Something must have happened. And you think I can help you? It can't be the war. Must be something spiritual. The murder of the godless priestess. General Dragon! The prison! Riots! Now? Ah. Oh. Radica, is that your move? Of course it is. I expect no less from the Rodentian leader. You must have a plan to stop us, and I cannot allow that. And you, Harbinger. A favor given is a favor repaid. Help me with this and I shall aid you in any way I can. Rodentians! Surrender and you will be spared! Freedom or death! General! Damn rats are everywhere! Did you bring reinforcements? I brought something much better. The attack on this prison is madness. Too many losses, even to rescue a leader. No. This is a calculated sacrifice. They must believe Radica is a game-changer. So, Harbinger, 
Is it really the death of the priestess that has brought you to me? I will do my best to help you. Vera was... She was deeply respected. I would hate to stand by and see the murderer go unpunished. Ancient Pagarian? Now the prisoners are writing insults in ancient Pagarian? Who taught them? Ah! Such filthy language! And the spelling is all wrong. Your uprising almost impressed me. Almost. Now, lower your weapons. Ratika is not worth dying for. High and mighty General Draga. Tell me, General, how do you sleep at night knowing everything your Emperor has done? Or do you enjoy the killing and the torture? I am loyal to Emperor Indrik. Surrender and give me Ratika. Now. Not a chance. Follow me, I have a plan. They do not know about this power. Kill them all! Their dialogue's close enough. Secure the area! Yes, General. There is a rumor about the Priestess. Some soldiers say that she was sniffing around Yarborg's temple not long before her death. The rumor goes as far as claiming that she has been caught inside the Emperor's ancestral crypt. Nonsense. The crypt is protected by an unbreachable seal. I've been thinking. Vera was a fierce advocate for peace with Rodentia, even met with Ratica and her people. Caused quite a diplomatic stir. Perhaps Ratica can tell you more, if she's in an honest mood. Where did you go, little mouse? I was hoping to end the war with minimal bloodshed. No doubt Ratika has slipped away to the forest and joined the enemy forces. Come. It seems we will face her on the battlefield. Hurry! Iron Trek's fury is up ahead! The Emperor will use it to end the Rodentian revolt, and I must assist His Highness. Still no sign of His Highness, my lady. What shall we do, General? Call off the attack? It may be our last chance to strike! Soldiers of Pegaria! Our Emperor has placed his faith in us! He believes in our victory! Victory for Pegaria! We are one voice! One nation! One destiny! Pegaria! We march! <laughs> Just learn the seal ritual. At least the secret is in safe hands. Now, welcome aboard the Fury. General! Redemption forces have amassed near the city gates! Soldiers of Pegaria! Who are we? We are one, one voice! One nation! One destiny! This was an ambush. They knew we were coming. But they did not count on your presence, Harbinger. There. The Amber Core. I would have expected Ratika to make us stand here. I still hear the sounds of battle. The front gates!
something is wrong. Ratika? I am deathless. I am your end. Will you break or will you bend? Deathless? Have you connected with the void? like I only know part of the plan. We have seized the heart of Rodentia. The Amber Core is ours. The enemy army is broken, their leader dead. Deathless. Such a terrible thing to do. Ratika opened a link with the Void. Becoming Deathless unhinges your physical and mental limits, but at the cost of your emotions. Perhaps this is what it means to lose your soul. Or perhaps becoming deathless strips your soul of artifice, revealing your true nature. Who knows? We owe this victory to you. I will ask the Emperor to help you find what you seek when he arrives. I wonder what kept His Highness to not march with his army. It is unlike him. What could... By the gods! Once again, the giant snake Voden, avatar of the Great Void, surges forth to devour the world. The chain of events triggered by the death of the godless priestess have played out as they have before. The truth must be found, and Voden must be stopped. Would have been easier. Nice hair ribbon thing, by the way. Can I get one? Oh, but where are my manners? So, you came to visit. What do you want? Wait, let me guess. The secret to my smooth and fluffy fur? The recipe to my mother's famous sugar raisin pie. Okay, one last try. You want to save the world from impending doom. <laughs> You're funny. I like you. Hey, let's help each other out. I have a plan. I think I can talk to you. I mean, make you talk to me. Well, sort of. So, you in? Good! Let's go. I'll tell you all about it on the way. Ah, I almost forgot. There's a war going on. And by going, I mean going great. So great, they made me the leader. Can you believe it? Just look at me. To think they used to call me the runt, never knowing I was a natural champion. Now they know. I think. But you escaped. Not only do you have eyes, you can use them too. Now, gather everyone around the Ambersite. It's a surprise for you and our Imperial guests. The Ambersite. The Pegarians call it the Amber Core. <laughs> Shows how much they know. We've built a city around it, real sacred. But make no mistake, its power is real. You'll see. Fish thingies. The Imperials call them Cyphers. <laughs> what does that even mean? Mindless monsters. That's all they are. You were done for. Thanks, boss. And friend? Don't mention it. Or do. But only in a song. So, the plan. I'm gonna sing a special song and tap into the Amber Sight. Just so you know, I may be a teeny bit different after the song. Don't freak out. It's sort of a special transformation. Probably. I don't know. Come on, hurry. 
hurry. We need the traps ready before the Pegarians show up. I know, I know. Stop me if you've heard this one. A Rodentian leader asks her sappers to set bombs, but when she arrives, no bombs. Funny? No? You're right. It's the color code, boss. We, uh, we can't find the red wire. We're at. We can't see red. Tell her. Go on over, tell her. <sighs> Do you see a gray wire? Oh. Yes. Wait, how did you know? Is gray in your color code? Uh, nope. If you still can't figure it out, rest your head against the bomb and try to light it when the spark of realization hits. Welcome to Rodentia City. Hard to believe a few years back it was nothing but ruins. Witnesses talk of a battle with a monster, caused an earthquake. The Pegarians offered to help us. They rebuilt almost the entire city. Of course, that was before I discovered their true colors. That's why we have to. There is a healing power to music. It has magic that can bring people together. But not this song. This song will tap into the darkest corners of grief. This song can kill. So, why don't you sit back and relax? Enjoy the bardic whimsy of my balalaika. Oh, and whatever happens, don't interrupt. Machine, but the enemy keeps pouring it like locusts. Something is wrong. Ratika? I am deathless. I am your end. Will you break or will you bend? Deathless? Have you connected with the void? are retreating! We won! Invaders! <laughs> Boss? Radica? Is that really you? Radica was broken. Fear, doubt, regret. I am deathless. Ah, oh, sorry, boss. I didn't mean to. Pursue! All invaders must die. Oh, hi, boss. You are an infant, but so very old. Radical's promise I will uphold. I see through you, I see your mind. There are the priestess you must find. Her soul is free, her soul is lost. Follow her trail no matter the cost. In the temple, locked by a seal, lies the truth for you to reveal. Now, Harbinger, back to the tree. You, the serpent, must never see. Once again, the giant snake Vodin, avatar of the Great Void, surges forth to devour the world. The chain of events triggered by the death of the godless priestess have played out as they have before. The truth must be found, and Vodin must be stopped.
Noticed all those locked doors we passed. Fancy mystical seals. And this one? This door is special. It's where all the Emperors are buried. Think of all the secrets they took with them. Still, unless you're close to Indrik, there's no getting through. Huh? Just... How did you do that? I don't smell the Emperor in there. Are we parting wise, then? Well, I can't keep Indrik waiting forever, so... Um, good luck with your, uh, exploration. seen a vision from Vera's past. This is unexpected. I have much to tell you, so I need to bring you back to the Tree of Life. Terrible events leave traces in their wake. Harbinger, your search for the truth has created a bond between you and the Priestess. You saw a key moment before her death. An omen that foretells Foden's return. The vision confirms our fears. The godless Priestess has suffered at the hands of the Emperor. But the question remains, where is her soul? Harbinger. No more following your companions and hoping for answers. Now you will lead. When you choose your companion, you will show them the vision. They will know it to be truth. This is your omen sight power. With the insight it grants, your companions will help you pressure Indrik, so you may find the soul of the priestess. But who should be the first to behold the omen sight? Ludomir, Draga, Oratica. Hurry, Harbinger. Do not let the tree falter and die. General, give me two battalions and I shall capture the core for you. I do not doubt it. But those battalions would turn the battlefield into a graveyard. For them and the Rodentians both. I will protect you with my... Get out! Both of you! Now! That vision... There has to be a reason for what happened, Harbinger. You are the Harbinger, yes? Indrik... He may seem cruel, but there is always a reason behind his actions. That vision... That's the Temple of Yarborg, yes? There were engravings on the walls. Scriptures and patterns... I believe I can decipher them. Perhaps that will shed some light on this matter. General Draga! The prison! Riots! Have the captain send a detachment to quell the riot. I have another matter I must attend to. Come, Harbinger. Let us investigate that vision of yours. My lady? You cannot disturb the Emperor. The ritual has already begun. Indrik is here. I suppose it makes sense. Step aside, soldier. Please! My lady! I never thought studying the ancient scriptures would serve a practical purpose. In Pagaria, it is not a feline's place to study such things. Or lead armies, for that matter. No amount of study and training would have led to acceptance, had it not come from Indrik. Ciphers. These creatures did not dare tread these sacred halls, until now. After we have finished investigating, we should have a word with His Highness. 
I want to hear his side of the story. Our emperors are buried here, under Yarbrough's benevolent watch. Our patron god has been gone for three centuries, but the faith in Pagaria still runs strong. Let us see if there is anything here that explains why Indric would want to murder Vera. Ancient history is inscribed here. You know of Yarborg, yes? Of course you do. My apologies. I ask out of habit, considering what passes for history in Imperial schools. Yarborg fought an epic battle against Voden. That's the Void Incarnate, if you believe such things. As the myth goes, 300 years ago, Yarborg, wielding his sword Cladden, defeated Voden in battle. Here, Yarborg appoints the first godless priestess to watch over the world, Vera's spiritual ancestor. Then he withdraws from mortal affairs. Wait, this is new. This seems to claim the sword Cladden is real, and surprisingly specific on its location. This is strange. Apparently, there is a ritual of ascension to become Yarborg's avatar. A firebird, the ritual requires an amber core. Once the transformation is complete, the avatar is then able to wield Yarborg's sword. This must be Indric's plan. There is an amber core in the temple, and the guards were talking about a ritual. This kind of power, however, it's not meant for mortals. Vera would have said as much. Vera must have tried to stop him. And the Emperor killed her. What a senseless tragedy. If this is true, Indric has betrayed the trust of Pagaria and its people. And he may be placing himself in danger as well. We must find Indric now. Come. My lady, I come with a message from His Highness. Where is he now? I do not know, my lady. When he heard you were here, he reacted strongly. He demanded to know why you were not in Rodentia, leading the army. He said, tell her to do her duty. Her judgment will come later. Then he departed. He just flew away. He must be after Cladden. And if these scriptures are correct, I know where he went. The scriptures mentioned a vault. Here, in the city. That is where the sword Cladden is supposed to be. Can you imagine artifacts of the gods hidden in plain sight? If Indrik finds Cladden and becomes this, this avatar, how will this change him? The power may prove too much. And where will his loss leave our armies? Or the people of Pegaria? Look at those feathers. Burnt. That ashen snow. This transformation into a firebird must be a literal one. This is the place. Look. The Imperial Seal has been breached. I will help. General Traeger! We are being overwhelmed! I sent you my way! Thank you, General. These creatures attack everyone in sight. Friend and foe alike. Friend? A man are speaking, sir. Ah, General. Permission to go treat these wounds. Granted. A seal, not ours. Rodentian. Our way is barred. We cannot enter, nor could Indric. That leaves only one path. If Gladden exists, it is not here. And no sign of Indric either. Is Cladden in the other vault? And that Rodentian seal there, who placed it?
Budomir? Listen to me. They will cut you down before you reach the gates. And what do you suggest? Wait for it to be over? Yeah, everything will be tickety-boo. At least bring a squad along. Who? You'll answer for this and more, Hendrick! Are you just gonna stand there, Harbinger? Go after him. Unless you want to send that drunken fool to his death. So the Harbinger enters the fray and is not content to just watch. Ah, this will be interesting. Hendrick! Show your face, you coward! I know what you did! When you showed me the vision, did you know about me and Vera? She didn't trust many people, but she trusted me. And I failed her. Is that why you showed it to me? Vera used to tell me not everything that said is spoken of me. She was like that. Hard to make sense of. <laughs> Good thing I still got my sense of smell, even if the rest of my senses aren't as sharp. Peace with your bargain trick. Spare me the theatrics, Vladimir. Were you here to fight, we would be fighting instead of this tantrum of yours. What do you want? What I want? I want your head on a pike! I want your soldiers gutted! I want your empire put to the torch! And I want her back! But I can't have her back now, can I? Because you killed her! I regret torturing you, Ludomir. It's driven you mad. Execution would have been more merciful. Torture was your first ticket to hell. No, this is about Vera. The priestess. There's nothing I can do that will punish you enough for what you've done to her. But I have some ideas. After I break your bones, rip out your feathers, I'll finish with the eyes. But don't worry, I'll leave one. Just like you did for me. Ludomir, hold! I command you to... We're done talking! Matey? What did you... Why did you show him that? You... You are not of this world. Why did you side with Ludomir of all creatures? That does it! I've had enough of- Will you listen? The priestess. Her death was not by my hand. Ha! One of your torturers, then? If so, her blood is still on your hands. I am the one who was wrong. Vera broke into the crypt of my ancestors. No one is allowed there. It is sacred to me. Yet this priestess defiled it with her presence. So you tortured her. No food, no water. When did you begin to burn the skin from her ears, eh? Vera's stronger than me. Stronger than you. So when she wouldn't break, you killed her. She would not answer me, it is true. I had her imprisoned, but she escaped with help from an accomplice. I would not make up such a tale. A prisoner escaping from me? I will not waste any more words about your sister. You could never see the truth, Ludomir, even before I took your eye. Indrik. This accomplice. Who was it? The leader of the Redemption mob. That sickly mouse, Ratica. Go to Redentia. Speak to her. Hear it for yourself. You and me, Indrik. This isn't over. My words exactly. Mate, let's find Ratica before I change my mind. Tracks through the forest. Smell of oil, metal, and 
Imperial troops. I knew this would happen, and it's all my fault. That's what we call timing. I mean, uh, thanks. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Say, any word from Ratica? Should have heard something by now. I hope the boss is all right. Yeah. Let's climb this perfectly solid looking piece of Rodentian engineering. What the hell? What's with the Emperor's and their obsession with big toys? Didn't you see the sign? No dogs allowed on this bridge! We're no match! We need the fury! Hindrance toy may actually hurt someone. We should hurry! Masters teach you how to fly. This won't bring back the dead, but it sure felt good to wreck that big toy. There is buried here. As Indrik said, my adopted sister, but sister all the same. After I avenge her, I'll come back here and pay my respects. You're welcome to come with me, if you want. Where's your boss? Busy. Oh, I have to talk to her, now! You can wait. She'll see us now, or I'll smash this precious crystal of yours. You wouldn't dare. You'd have to be an idiot. <laughs> he is an idiot! Get him! Ratica? Bloody hell. What happened to you? You sure that weird magic of yours is healthy? Anyway, is it true? Did you help Vera escape? Do you know who killed her? You are weak, confused, and blind. Answers will not unfeeze your mind. Ratica, I'm not in the mood. Indrik said Vera was with you. Enough with the rhymes. Talk! Destroy the Amazon. Your price. Damn it. We don't have to fight! Why are you acting like this? Ratica! Enough of this nonsense. Will you talk to me now? I just want the truth. The truth. It will break your soul. Trust me, I doubt it can get any more broken than this. The truth, then. When I was meant to do Radica, I freed the priestess. We fled. Indrid did not lie. And where did you go? The vault. The vault? Can't you be more specific? What vault? Where? Bloody hell! What now? Properly dramatic way to inform? How did you do that? Actually, scratch that. Why did you do that? She's dead. Vera is dead. Do you know that? Of course you know. So then, you are here because... No? Sticking to the silence is golden approach? Okay, then it's up to me to fill in the blanks. You are here because you must need something from me. Ah, yes. You are patiently waiting, which means you know I can in fact help you. I will steer you to Indrik. But we must act together. He is cunning and a cruder villain than you can imagine. He destroys for his own gain, no matter the cost. He has taken...
taken countless lives, and now the godless priestess too? We have to nail him! Right now, everyone thinks he's at the Battle of Provincia. But I know better. Spies right under his nose. Follow me. I know a shortcut. This will lead us straight to Yarbog's temple. That's where the Emperor is. Everyone, the boss is back. Stop napping and... Where is everyone? Aren't you impressed? Whoever built this place has vanished a long time ago. Well, we embellished a bit, added levers and gates. We love our levers. Fish thingies. Now I get why everyone ran. La, la, la. Now this place is huge. It stretches for miles and miles. The Imperials have been around for centuries. Never found it. All we had to do was look. Imperials, too busy with their noses in the air to notice what's beneath their feet. This is it. Yarbok's temple is just above. Looks like we have competition. You again! First you make me chase you off! Enemy! Die! Here we go. Listen, when we face Indrik, we have to act quickly. He's evil, cruel, but worse, he's a good liar. Thankfully, you saw what he did. No matter what, attack on sight, alright? Ludomir brought it on himself. As for the priestess, well, you would know more than I. Ugh, stop it! I know your game! You have so many skeletons in your closet, you'd need an empire of closets just to fill them all! You want to speak of skeletons, Ratiger. Your defiance has made Redentia a graveyard. So now it's our fault? You're a murderer and a coward, Indrik! <laughs> What are you waiting for? Kill him! Why are you showing him that? Oh, I get it. You want him to know that we know before we execute him. Now act! We must kill the villain! You would be a fool to listen to that retention. I think we're all done listening. Words are boring, but a song... Oh, yes! A song can outshine words on any given day. Does your vision show me killing the priestess? But the Redention knows that. She helped her escape. Killing me is not justice. It will simply hide a greater lie. And that perfect song is this. A melody that resonates throughout all Rodentia. Our Rodentia, Emperor. <laughs> Final performance. And sorry, friend. Quickly. This way. Uh, we are safe here. Raticus still lives, I'm sure of it. Like all redemptions, she lashes out at any who seek to help them. While the true enemy exploits their ignorance. Tell me, Harbinger. Have you seen creatures? Corrupted ones that seem to have emerged from the cesspool of the underworld, seeking your death. Ciphers. They've been sighted throughout Euralia. They are a sign the Void is stirring once again. This is why I sought to perform the Rite of Ascension. 
the Firebird ritual to protect us. These scriptures tell of a ritual of Yarbog's avatar, a pompous metaphor. The Firebird has but one purpose. Its flames purify the sacred sword, Cladden. Many of my ancestors have performed the ritual. It stopped the ciphers, for a time. This wall hides a secret, a truth only to be revealed at the end of times. Unfortunately, you, the ciphers, these are the signs. Whoever you are, I will not forgive this aggression. Good. Keep him busy. I have a plan. <laughs> Indrik's final performance. Uh, let's not stay for his guards. They wouldn't understand. Situation. For all their bragging, it turns out Kagarians are lousy engineers. But don't worry, I know it's too many of our doors with that, please? Anyway, onwards! <laughs> <sighs> I was worried when the temple fell, but look, the crypt's intact. Guess Yarbog still watches over this place. This is where it happened. In the vision you showed me, right? Wait a minute. Did you know we would end up here? Did you do it so I would lead you here? Never thought I'd hate silence so much. Look, you're here for some reason, but I told you Indra killed Vera. You had your justice, so go! Shoo! Stop looking at me. You're always watching, but you can't see someone's nature, what drives them. You... What do you know, anyway? You know, don't you? I've been a fool. Fine. I was here with Vera. She asked me to protect her while she was studying these stupid walls. And that's what I did. It was a big mistake, and... <laughs> you know what? It's your turn to get the silent treatment. You're so smart, you figure it out. You can't even begin to... Creatures attack everyone in sight, friend and foe alike. Friend? A manner speaking, sir. Ah, General. Permission to go treat these wounds. Granted. A seal, not ours. Rodentian, our way is barred. We cannot enter, nor could Indrik. 
That leaves only one path. Are you sure? I would have thought Indrik to be in the other vault, but... I trust your judgment. The Emperor! Your Highness! <sighs> Dead. Erst the godless priestess, and now Indrik. How could this happen? We wanted to stop the Emperor, yes, but... Who would kill him? This is why I sought to perform the Rite of Ascension, the Firebird Ritual, to protect us. This development is unexpected. It appears Radica has much to hide and much to answer for. Indrik is no longer a concern. His ambitions are troubling, but if he did not kill Vera, perhaps he can serve as an ally. And his strange death. The transformation into the Firebird grants great power. Who is powerful enough to slay him? How will you use your Omen Sight power, now that you know Ratika has killed the Godless Priestess? So it begins. Another chance to save Euralia. the Harbinger. Your coming means that something terrible is about to happen. Loden, do you know our history? How Yarbog, our god, our patron defeated Voden, and the blessed sword Pladen shall be bestowed upon the righteous disciple. And he and his descendants shall fan the flame and temper the blade, lest it crumble and invite the darkness to return anew. Vera and Ratika, they came here for Pladen. They seek to use the Void as a weapon to win the war, and thought they could control it with the blade. Attica would rule a dead world, and she claims I am a monster. We will find her. And when we do, I care not if the mouse talks or sings. She will give us Cladden. Redemptions. I turn my back for a day, and chaos ensues. We don't know where they came from. Damn rats are everywhere. Does that surprise you, soldier? Battles such as these are how wars are lost. Step aside. I should have known Ratiga was involved with the priestess. Vera escapes to the city of Ega. And a few hours later, Ratiga is captured in the same city. I should have made the connection. Enough with these games! 
Someday, I will unmask whoever keeps writing on this wall. Half my soldiers now believe the prison to be haunted. I had no love for the godless priestess. She broke a sacred tradition. Neutrality. Still, to be murdered in cold blood by a friend. The Rodentian will receive proper punishment once this crisis is resolved. Hendrik, are you here to surrender? Ratika, answer carefully. Where is the sword? Only the sword? Not the hideout? Not the amber? Your Highness, really? Getting one out of three isn't great odds for any Pagarian tyrant. Stop playing games. I know everything. You coerced. No, you tricked Vera into leading you to the sword. Then you killed her. That's not what happened at all. Your lack of thoroughness disappoints, Your Grace. So, you did not kill her? Well, that part's true, but... So you had the sword, but it was not on you when my soldiers caught you. You hid it somewhere. Where? Vera was my friend. I never wanted to hurt her, but when everything happened, I... I panicked. Then, um, I panicked some more, and then even more, and while I was doing that, I realized that my feet had started running. Uh, I left Vera behind, and the sword. Before I could think of anything else, I slammed into a soldier's breastplate, which made this really interesting dong noise. Satisfied? Mm, this almost rings true. But you do not fool me or my companion. How do you know? Your friend isn't saying anything. The Harbinger does not need words. Harbinger, no less. Always the bully, Indrik. Can't fight me just by yourself. Hmm. Time for some, uh, strategic redeployment. There you have it. Now tell us. Where is the blade? Where is Cladden? I... I don't have it. Believe me, or don't. But we have a common enemy. That sounded almost close to the truth. What happened with Vera? If I told you why I killed her, you would never believe me. But she wasn't acting alone. There was something wrong with her. There have been gatherings in Rodentia. Influential folks acting secretly behind my back. Look. As much as I detest your Imperial policies, there's something more dangerous waiting. I know it. What are you saying? I'll lead you to them. You can see for yourself. In Rodentia. Not to spoil the moment, but that expression? <laughs> it's like you're thinking, using your brain. It's like you're actually listening to me. It would be uh, awkward for us to be seen together. Lead on. Lead on? Does that mean I'm in charge? Because that means you'd technically be surrendering, or abdicating, or... Ratica! Right. Onward. A calculated risk. If Ratica speaks the truth, then we are allies. Else, she will lead us to her accomplices in Rodentia, and to the sword. Our temporary truce with Ratica does not change the plans for tonight's invasion. I'm counting on your discretion with this Harbinger. Sire, there are sightings of the enemy leader. She is heading into the city alone. Shall we intercept? You shall not. Remain at your post. I will deal with Ratica. Higarians, your loyalty has made our nation strong. You carry that strength with you, for you are of Pigaria. You are Pigaria, and for Pigaria, march! Ratika must be within the city walls by now. Moment of truth, I suppose. Ratica, dead. 
Yet I see no other Pigarians around. Ratica died a hero, killed by the usurper, torturer, and now murderer, Emperor Indrik. But it is her sacrifice that delivered Indrik into Rodentian hands. A fascinating tale, but false in every account. <laughs> and now, Pigaria falls as Rodentia falls. What did you mean by, as Rodentia falls? If you had been chosen, you would already know. He who we serve cares not for nations. He comes! The sword speaks louder than words. Always like you, Indrik. Letting others do your dirty work. <laughs> A sword... It could still be in the vault. <laughs> no doubt, another redemption lie. Come now, you've lost. Do so with grace, Ratica. Just... how well do you think you know me? Or any Rodentian? Or the godless priestess, for that matter? She may have been lying, but we should still search the vault. Even if it's not there. There may be a clue to where she hid the blade. The city seems... dead. And the air, heavy, stagnant. Terror has visited this place. How did you get here? Air barge, your grace. We heard you were coming. We thought you may need protection. And who told you I was coming this way? The boys, down at the temple. Nobody at the temple knows I am here. I'll fight you to the death! So our foes resort to ambush. Coward. Yet if you were not here, I would tension seal. They think that can stop me? This makes no sense. If Ratica and her redentions want to bring down evil on Pigaria, then why are my knights by their side? What could have pushed my own people to betrayal? Wait, what is this? A piece of cloth soaked in blood. Look at the shape. This was torn with a purpose. A wound was treated here recently. Harbinger, it is possible that Vera did not die in these vaults. But then, by Yarbog! What now? General! Give me two battalions, and I shall capture the core for you. I do not doubt it. But those battalions would turn the battlefield into a graveyard. For them and the Rodentians both. <laughs> Intruder! I will protect you with my life. Get out. Both of you. Do not be surprised. I know who you are. Your presence here... Is it about the priestess? Her death has been weighing on my thoughts. But it is not just that. It is this war. It should have ended long ago. We vastly outnumber the Rodentians. They are little more than squabbling clans in the best of times. They have little training, makeshift weapons, and, to put it mildly, lack discipline. Yet, I believe some other force is at work, playing both the Rodentians and our forces against each other. Someone wants this war to continue and seeks to weaken us both. Vera stood for harmony. Vera could have brought peace, so they killed her. But Ratica, that I did not expect. General Trager! 
The prison! Riots! Prepare my air barge. Order the troops to... On second thought, hold that order. This is exactly what you want, isn't it, Radica? We will play your game. But this time, I will be one move ahead. We will hit them like a midsummer storm. General, please reconsider. The troops are not ready, and and we still need to fine tune. Gather the scouts, then have them scour the woods. Ratika is coming here. Inform me as soon as she is sighted. But, but, General. Red flare to mark her position. Questions dismissed. Yes, sir. Pray the fury will break down on the Great Bridge. The bridge was repaired when Garia helped restore Rodentia. It is quite a marvel of engineering. The Rodentian capital has passed the Great Bridge. There, we will corner Radica and make her answer for Vera's murder. End this war. Swift and clean. What? The machine is already here? Not ready! It's coming! Protect Prudentia with your lives! Your combat skills are indeed. The Rodentians knew we were coming. As I suspected, we have a spy in our midst. But who? And why are they playing both sides? We will set up position here and wait for Radica. If she surrenders, please, stay your hand. I have much to ask her. We can't flail in the dark any longer. We need answers. Ambergans ready! Huh? Now! Stranglehold is in place. Soon we will catch her. I won't let myself become your trophy, Draga. You want me? Fight to the end. Bring Radica back to camp. Attend to her wounds. I need her conscious for questioning. Is this what dying feels like? Had to happen sometime, I guess. If death is not to your liking, perhaps you should not have started a war. Before you leave us, Radica, you have much to explain. You think this was my doing? I hate to disappoint, but no. I could write you a song with how this drama unfolded. <laughs> if I were in better sorts. If you and your conspirators hadn't murdered Vera, you could have been singing those songs right now. Vera. <sighs> what else is my dying breath good for but confession? Yes, I killed her. So you admit it. Vera was my friend. If I believed there had been any other way, she would be here now. <laughs> no doubt lecturing us. You could have done literally anything else. You know, Draga, it's all those doubts that make your face wrinkle and age you faster. And since you're wasting my precious last words, I need a favor. You can't be serious. You're right. Two favors is more fair. What was I thinking? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> now come closer. When you see Ludomir, tell him Vera 
has been avenged. Maybe it'll bring him some peace. What makes you think I will be anywhere near that drunken fool? To die by his hand would have been more... poetic, I'd say. Still, I'm the lucky one. What do you mean? There are scarier things than death. Now, second favor. Ludomir? Listen to me. They will cut you down before you reach the gates. And what do you suggest? Wait for it to be over? Yeah, everything will be tickety-boo. At least bring a squad along. Going on your tab, little mirror. Damn it, Ratica! I'll rip your skinny throat out, even if it means going back to that place. Whoa, wait, Ludomir, uh, never mind the counter. What about Indrik? And you? What did you do to him, huh? Well, this isn't good. Better inform the others. Insane, I know. What fool uses his own secret escape route to return to prison? But Ratica is there, and I know her friends will try to free her soon. They better not get in my way. Ludomir? What you doing here? Ah, came back to grab my coat. Snowy outside. Your boss still around? Yeah, up in the tower. Guards are putting up a nasty fight. So, mate. You in it for vengeance, too? Did she send you? Oh, I know she did. Her spirit is with me. Well, straight my whiskers. Wasn't expecting the mighty Ludomir in the rescue team. Would have the upper hand now for sure. Psst, play along, mate. We're only after Ratica. <clears throat> you all hold position. The two of us will, um, rescue the boss. That was not the plan. It's the plan now. Out of my way. Ratica. She fooled me into believing she was a good person. Or oh, she'll remember the day she showed up with Vera. <laughs> Ratica had the notion that all for now we should live with bears. I can't afford to doubt. Ratica must die. Is still a mess. Save your wits for someone who cares. So, <laughs> you're not here to rescue me? Uh, enough! You know exactly why I'm here. Hold on. It's complicated, all right? Just, just give me a moment. I can explain everything. What I don't understand is why you would want to kill Vera. I thought you were friends. She was even helping Rodentia, helping you. Listen to me. I can explain everything. Oh, let me guess. For your cause, for the greater good, for Rodentia. Save your explanation. Or let you tell it to Vera herself. But I had to do it, and it was for. <sighs> Never mind. You came here for <laughs> She already knows that we know. Ludomir, get the wax out of your ears and listen for once. Don't you see? Your friend there could have killed me. Instead, she showed me this. Do you get it? Get what? You came here for revenge. I get it. I understand revenge. All kinds. From hot to cold, noble to ugly. But your friend came here to understand. Ludomir, think about it. Would I kill a friend, or anyone for that matter, on a whim? Come on, Ludomir, you know me better than that. No, I don't. I don't think I've ever known you. And now I don't care. No, no, no. I have to show you something. Proof. Ah, of course. 
No, you don't! Murderer! Come back here! City smells all thick, but I can still pick out Raptica's scent. She came this way. Getting close. Picking up more scents ahead. Hmm. I know some of them. No. No, impossible! Move, door! Hey, Fjordball, old friend! Is this about the tab I still owe you? You've always been my best client, Ludomir. Always punctual for a pint. Always predictable. Then, the Harbinger had to show up. Why didn't you go kill Endrick like you were supposed to? Well, I guess I let you down, Fjordball. It wasn't like I was tracking down my sister's murderer, Vera was family. I'm looking for her killer. You know, the little mouse with the big mouth. Oh, Ludomir, you shouldn't have come. I tried to keep you from this. You are... Well, you're the closest thing I have to a friend. But friends aren't exactly a thing I can keep anymore. Come on. Don't do this. It doesn't have to be this way. Are you protecting Ratika or something? Protecting? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Why are there Imperials with you? Some stakes transcend nations. Now. Shall we get to it? Or do you need to drink yourself stupid for this fight, too? If this was a real fight, I would. But not the watered-down piss you call ale. Go on. End it. Ah, uh, not worth the effort. So let's just call it quits, yeah? Now get out of my sight. Ratica's inside. I don't like the smell in the air. Be on your guard. Think they killed each other? No. Look at these wounds. Our friends outside must have done this. But what would be the pleasure or the gain from killing them? What's going on here? Come on, come on, dumb bear, think! This place. It was in the vision. This is where Vera was killed. So what? What did Ratika do after that? Let's say she came back to find proof. Proof. Ratika mentioned a sword. The same sword she killed Vera with? And why is Indrik here? This is an Imperial vault. So then, maybe it belongs to Indrik? Wait. In the sewers? Believe this? In the sewers, when I discovered. Me dead. Never mind. You picked on the wrong Rodentian. It's done, Vera. It's done. I can't believe it's done. Maybe now Vera's spirit will be at peace. It's the least I could do. She reached out to me, you know? I mean, when she died, she guided me to her body. I found her in the sewers, discarded like an old doll. I should visit her. A grave, I mean. Both of us. She would want you to be there, I think. Ah. Oh, we are still in the middle of a bloody war. We have just crushed Rogentia's biggest hope. Well, smallest hope for victory. With a bit of luck, nobody knows Radica's dead yet. There they are, traitors. Revenge! 
revenge! For Ratiga! For Redentia! Oh, hold on, hold on. It's complicated, right? We had our reasons. Just waiting. Huh. I sound just like... <laughs> What's so funny? I just understood how Ratica felt right before we ripped her to shreds. <laughs> Irony. I finally get it. You monsters. I hope we can talk some sense into the next group we meet. What the hell? What's with emperors and their obsession with big toys? Didn't you see the sign? No dogs allowed on this bridge. Right, the bridge is ringed with explosives. Oh, I hope they got might the detonator. Hey, Imperials, did your eagle masters teach you how to fly? Hero, the great Ludonier. So, we are square? Why, as square as can be. It's not like you killed our leader, after all. Yeah, she wasn't much of a leader anyway. I mean, what's with all the rhyming and music, eh? And the jokes, too. How'd she expect to ever get anything done? <sighs> Kill the traitors. So much for talking sense. Vera is, was incredible. Wise, talented, she created her own seal. Just like the ones Ratika and Indrik use. No one's been able to do that for centuries. And she only taught one person the way to unlock it. You just learned the seal ritual? Took me months! Anyway, this was our secret place, Vera and mine. Bloody monsters! Damn you! Not here! sister. As dear to me as if she were blood. We were close when we were growing up. Then, we just drifted apart. And I failed her when she needed me most. The vengeful spirit you sent me has accomplished its mission, little sister. That's what you wanted, right? Peace. Vera? What are you saying? Not at peace? Sword? That sword? What do you mean, too late? Odin saw you. This is not supposed to be. Had I waited a moment longer, next time I will act swifter. You are safe now at least. Hurry, Harbinger. Do not let the tree falter and die. Attention hit me with a frying pan instead. So, um, are we gonna talk about this, or have you already made up your mind? You know, just so we're clear, I don't think, hey, look at this mystical vision can be used as proof in the Pagarian courts. <sighs> Never mind. I know what you want. That 
power of reveal you just hit me with. You want to know why I killed her? Would you believe I killed her to prevent a disaster? To save our world? Yeah, I know. I wouldn't believe me either. I need to put myself in your boots. See with your eyes. What would I need if I were you? Ha! Huh. How about I show you something? Although it's not as, uh, brain-rattling as that vision thing you did to me? Very well. You may notice, among my many talents, I have a knack for discovery. Why, uh, where did you discover, Radica? You may ask. I am glad you asked. Um, whatever you are. I just... Uh-oh. Do you hear that? That new transfer to the torture room gives me the creeps. I swear the smirk he had, he's planning something. Oh, hello. We were just leaving. Cellular! Where were we? Right, my discovery. Many of our Rodentian finests have their own idea on how we should fight Pegaria. And these fine few were meeting in secret with Vera. The war has kept me from investigating further, but I know where they met. And the proof is there. In the pudding, you might say. So we never did get this whole, what am I to you question answered, or even asked, so what am I to you? A hostage? A tool? Now, now, don't look at me like that. You'll get your proof, but keep in mind that I'm also leading my people in a war. So if we need any Imperials along the way, we fight. Boss, you escaped! Being out and being free is not the same. Now carry on. I know you don't trust me right now, friend. I could easily change that, but I made a promise years ago. And believe me, not talking about something is really hard for me. Look, I know you're trying to fix something big. I guess all our lives are at stake. So, trust or no trust, I've got your back. Can't you destroy this stuff once we're done? Once on the bridge, watch out for those barrels. Special welcome for the Empire tonight. And since I'm working hard to earn your trust, it'd be a waste if you blew yourself up. That's one of them. Hey, you! Is the path to the Amber Tree clear? The Amber Tree? Why do you care about that? Oh, you know, I may have accidentally followed you. Mysterious gatherings in the night make my whiskers shiver with excitement. Unless I misunderstood? I, I mean, who would plan a secret meeting in such a conspicuous place, right? Besides, if you all were working on a secret plan, you would tell me about it. Me being your boss and all? I told the others that you knew too much. Kill them. See the killjoys Vera had been tangled up with? Seal. See this symbol here? This is Vera's. She and I, we knew each other a long time. To her, the art of creating and inscribing these seals was sacred. She wouldn't have shared the means to unlock the gate with just anyone. We need to think. Think, think, think. Wait! How did you do that? You know what? Never mind. You are a supernatural being.
Harbinger. I can't bring you home. Something is fighting me. <laughs> Trouble. I have sealed the breach, but I doubt we are safe. Odin is likely to be gathering his strength for another attack. You must hurry. Oh, how wrong I was. If the priestess is in league with the void, with Vodin, then all is lost. Perhaps we have no choice but to abandon this world to its fate. There has to be a way to stop Vodin. Find it. Ludomir? Listen to me. They will cut you down before you reach the gates. And what do you suggest? Wait for it to be over? Yeah, everything will be tickety-boo. At least bring a squad along. I never thought something like this would happen. Sure, I thought maybe Vera was in over our head, but... But this... What are you talking about? What's going on here? Over the last few years, I saw this war fill Vera with helplessness and anger. It must have driven her to summon that thing, use it to end the war. And what did I do? I know how it feels to be desperate, to be powerless, why didn't I help? Ah, great. The Harbinger shows up, and Ludomir starts talking to himself. Hey, Ludomir, get a hold of yourself. Weren't you on your way to do something? Kill Indrik, remember? Hold on now. About Vera. Something isn't right. She survived Radica's attempt, but she's still dead. And who were all those people around her? Shouldn't they have done something to help? I mean, Vera's the godless priestess for Yarbog's sake. I mean she was. She... She should have been safe. And yet, no! She's still dead! I will make things right, sister. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a complete disaster. Fjordborg called you the Arbinger. You're supposed to show up when the world is about to end or something, right? Whatever the reason, let's get one thing straight. Vera. She gave up everything to try and better this world. Whatever she was thinking, I know she wouldn't have wanted anything bad to happen to us. Ludomir, <laughs> you almost look sober. And who's that with you? A reckoning. Ah. Who's? It's what I'm here to find out. I was warned you'd be coming this way. All right, enough pretending. Where did you hide the sword? Sword? Why are you asking about... Wait, are you the bastard who killed her? Did you kill Vera? I'm the one asking the questions. Yeah, you asked about the sword, and I'm asking about Vera. A question for a question, Vera used to say. Now, like you said, enough pretending. I know you lot were with her before she died, so I'll ask you again. Did you kill her? Ludomir is a traitor! He brought an Imperial witch to ambush us! Kill them! What the hell? My own people? <laughs> Killed her? It's gotta be! Why else would they turn on us like that? She 
made me swear to never enter this place, no matter what happens. I hope she'll forgive me. Blood. Veras. They killed her, here on this spot. Some friends she had. Oh, should have been here. She was in pain. But I was a coward. I couldn't face her, talk to her. She wasn't the Vera I grew up with. Her eyes. She had taken on so much. I should be furious. I should smash everything in here. But instead, I feel like... I feel like that would somehow just betray her all over again. That fellow on the bridge. He was asking about the sword. You looking for it too? Then let's go get the bloody thing. I know where it is. When I found Vera's body, there was a sword next to her. Figured whoever hid the body also hid the sword. I'm not as sharp as some, but I knew it was important. So I moved it. Someplace safe. I'll show you where. The shortest way is through the prison. These chaps knew what they were getting themselves into. Ratakud may just be a small mouse, but her people do love her. Look at these poor blokes. What did they do to deserve? Look, Ludomir! Oh, thank the gods! Help me out, brother! That I will, bro! I've seen your face somewhere. In the vision. You must be one of the bastards who murdered Vera. I'm innocent, I swear. Come on, Ludomir. Help, please. I don't think so, brother. You are exactly where I want you to be. I hope you like your iron hot and your spikes rusty. Don't mind the smell. Oh, God, the smell. Just... Close your eyes and jump! Further down is where I found Vera's body. If her spirit didn't guide me here, she would have rotted away. She didn't deserve this, no matter what she did. So, mate, what will you do with the sword? Smash it? It's what I'd do. Vera used it to release the monster. Maybe you can, uh, reverse that? We don't have time to break stuff. My vision's not what it used to be, unless I'm seeing double. But this is the same sword in your vision, yeah? It has to be. Huh? It's reacting to you. It didn't do that to me. Never thought I'd say this, but I hate this. Someone doesn't want us messing with the sword, eh? So, what now, mate? Harbinger! There is no time! The seal! Find the key! Ugh. Oh no! Get back! find a way to end the war. When she became the godless priestess, Ludomir said she took on more burdens than anyone should, or could. Vera thought she could control that, that 
thing. She was so sure it could defeat the Empire and bring the war to an end. And after it had done that, she said she would banish what she summoned, send it back to where it came from. But when you open a door like that, you can't just close it again. She didn't listen to me. She wasn't in her right mind, and her eyes. It was like she didn't even see me anymore, and I knew I couldn't let her do it. Wait, here you are, looking for answers. Sorry, I have no... Hold on. Do you hear that? That new transfer to the torture room gives me the creeps. I swear the smirk he had, he's planning something. Oh, hello. We were just... The vision showed that circle of cultists who had hold of the godless priestess. I recognize one of those slithery folks in that circle. He's here, in the prison. For the last time, how do we stop that thing that you and Vera have summoned? Tell me or... Or what? You start singing? You see... My friend here never talks. Can you even imagine all the anger that must be bottling up inside? Wait, I'll talk! Put that away. Not that it matters. You've already lost. Why the bravery act, then? Just tell us everything, and then gloat as you watch us fail. Well, it would give me a small amount of pleasure, yes. Stop the void. You would have to find Clatton. And even if you did that, an assassin has been sent for the only one who knows how to inscribe the seal on the blade. Unfair. I've never had an assassin on my trail. Sending a bear drunken ale and vengeance will be the end of the Emperor. And even if that should fail, we know the Emperor's next move. We will be there to stop it. Oh my. So where is Indrid going next? When I said, we know, I meant my friends know. They don't tell me everything. Put that away, please! I, I, I spoke in haste. Indrik, he wouldn't know the sword is gone. We've engineered the whole damn thing. You've said enough. We've gotten all we need from this prisoner. Thanks for the assist. Now, the vault. I stabbed a good friend. Now I'm trying to save my worst enemy? Not even I could write a song to carry the highs and lows of the strangeness of today. <clears throat> Let's keep that between you and me. Oh no, Radica, you're so clever, you're dumb. I forgot to ask Baron von Charming in the torture chamber about Vera. I mean, if I'm not the one who killed her, who did? Soldiers, you are my Imperial forces, hands chosen, loyal to Pigaria. What is the meaning of this betrayal? Speak! Pigaria, Potentia, they will soon cease to exist. The future belongs to us. We are the Chosen. We are the Children of the Void. Oh, no. Listen up, we've got company! Is that gaze meant to be threatening, Ratica? I owe you nothing. That's an understatement. We need to talk. I will grant you an audience, Redemption. No, I'll let you be my audience, Emperor. Come on, I know a safer place. All right, you granted me an audience, I granted you an audience. You heard my story, now it's your turn. What's the deal with the sword? The Void was not killed by Yarbog centuries ago. It was imprisoned. This prison is a spiritual place, not of this world. The sword Cladden. Think of it as the physical anchor. A seal that locks Voden away from this world. Well, that explains what Vera was doing with the sword. She was breaking someone out of prison. A lot of that going around. So, look. I'm guessing there isn't an easy way to send the Void back to its prison sword thing. But there is a way, right? And then lock the door? Maybe. Yarbog instructed the first emperor to build a hidden chamber in his temple. 
a chamber that was not to be opened unless all else failed. <laughs> Hold up. You've had super secret clearance to a super secret room, and you never tried to sneak in? I am a Pigarian. My word is my bond, and I respect. Ay, 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 Pigarians. <sighs> So what's our move, oh humorless one? The Harbinger will accompany me to the temple. You search for Clatton. I fear we have little time left. General! Give me two battalions and I shall capture the core for you. I do not doubt it. But those battalions would turn the battlefield into a graveyard. For them and the Rodentian. Intruder! I will protect you with my life. Get out! Both of you. Now! I respected the godless priestess and all she stood for. I was sure she was our best hope for peace. Clearly. Even the most revered among us do not always have our best interests at heart. So Radica tried to stop her. A wasted effort, as your vision has shown. We must find the Emperor. We must convince him to stop this war so we can focus our efforts on undoing Vera's actions. And we will need Radica's help. General Dragon! The prison! Riots! Quiet! I need to think. Nobody knows where Indrik is, but in the vision he was confronting Vera in Yarborg's temple. We should start there. But, my lady, the riots! Let the prisoners go and give a message to Ratika. We wish to parley. What? My lady? You cannot disturb the Emperor. The ritual has... So Indrik is still here. Good. I have urgent business with him. Step aside, soldier. Please! My lady! <laughs> General Drager, please leave. Do not close our hand. I must speak with the Emperor. This is unfortunate. Kill the intruders. They died carrying out their duty. We cannot let their sacrifice go to waste. Indrik must not be far now. You will have to show him the vision. I doubt my words will suffice. Curse these heavy doors. Your Highness! I must speak with you. Why aren't you on the battlefield? Interrupting my ascension. This is high treason. Please, Emperor, hear me out. There is a new threat. We must stop the war now. Ah, you finally show your true colors. Do you see now why felines are not accepted as Imperial soldiers? Defy you, my lord. You think me blind, General? I see everything in my kingdom. Including that night at the prison. <gasps> yes, I am well aware of your act of defiance. If you knew, then why am I still here, Emperor? I wanted to see the extent of your betrayal. Now, I have seen enough. My lord, that incident, it was one transgression for a friend. Never again. Yet today is your second act of treason. There will be no third. It's my companion! Do you see, Emperor? The vision? I do. Harbinger, you have revealed deeper weaknesses within an already broken nation. Rodentia may not be salvageable after all. Draga, what is your assessment of the situation? I believe Vera and a handful of Rodentians have summoned the Void in a misguided attempt to fight the Empire. I believe Ratika understands the danger of such an act and could help us root out Vera's allies. I agree. We must retrieve Cladden as well. The Cladden? 
As in, the legendary weapon from Yabu? Yes. The very same sword shown in the vision. The sword Vera was using to summon the Void. I will take the Harbinger with me and search for it. Draga, I leave it to you to make a truce with Ratika. Yes. The message for Parley has already been sent. I will not fail you, Emperor. Good. We meet in Redentia. I must warn my soldiers. With this change in plan, they will need more guidance than before. Soldiers of Figaria, hear me. Today, the war ends. Today is our chance to save our land and all the lands of Euralia. Countless times, I have asked you to trust me. Countless times. With that trust, we built this great empire. We built it. Together. Today, that trust will be put to the test. Do you trust your emperor? My orders are these. Capture the leaders of Redentia. Use lethal force if necessary, but spare the others. The people, the true people of Redentia. Soldiers of the Empire, we march! When you and your co-conspirators blindly tampered with the forces of the Deep, risking this world and ushering in the apocalypse. That's ridiculous. Where is Cladden? Answer me quickly if you value your life. You are insane! Take down the bridge now! I am sorry, but I cannot let you go. My patience is at an end. Cladden, where is it? I, I don't know. I swear. Do you deny that you've been summoning the Void? You and that priestess. Wait. I've been hearing rumors. There is a splinter group within my organization. But I have nothing to do with it. Most of us, we just want to protect our freedom. Take him away. Come, Harbinger. Sooner or later, someone will talk. Indre. Ratica. Well, this is awkward. So, mm -mm. ready to surrender? We will settle the peace terms later. There are urgent matters to tend to. Oh yeah, the whole world is about to end business. I have brought a token of goodwill. You! Repeat what you told us! We... we don't have the sword anymore, I swear. Keep going! We hid the body and the sword. Ludimir wasn't supposed to find her. Nobody was supposed to. These traitors panicked! They searched for the sword everywhere, didn't you? Y yes but we couldn't find it, I swear. It means... Only one may know where the sword is now. Ludomir. Whoever you are, I will not forgive this aggression. Why? Why did you let it come to this? What are you trying to accomplish? What is to be done now? The world is still threatened by the Void. There must be... Raiga. Your Highness! You are still alive. Your act of defiance. Prison. I 
know. It was for love. Certain emotions. I forget. Please, save your energy. I will fetch help. No time. Find the sword. Gladden. In the vault. Eka. Your Highness! Hold on! Indrik! Forgive me, Indrik. I will not disappoint you again. Harbinger, I must continue on to the vault. Still following me. I don't have the slightest idea why. I have no other leads for you. So how about you? Do you have anything to offer? Anything you may be able to share? <laughs> may as well converse with the wall. Mm. So here I am, chasing a myth. Even if the sword is real, how can we succeed when the protector of our world summoned this evil herself? General Trigger! We are being overwhelmed! Our enemies know about this place. As I suspected, Cladden is not here. Did you know the vault would be empty? Have you been playing with me all along? There is no stopping the void now. You must have known that this would happen. You know, in most ancient texts, the Void is depicted as a giant snake. Black scales and bright eyes. But some scholars believe the Void is capable of taking the shape of any creature it devours. It could fool anyone. Fooled me. the godless priestess to such madness. I push my subjects, yes. But that's because I can see beyond their potential, even past. Even past their breaking point. Did I push her to this madness as well? I can undo this. Ending the war will mean the Redentions have no cause to unleash the Void. Let us find Ratica. Redentions? They're here for Ratica, no doubt. All of you? Cease fighting at once! Can we stop fighting at all? What's that? I ordered you to cease fighting, soldier! But, sire! They kept on attacking! As did you! Peace may prove more trying than war. Let us make our way inside. How could they still be fighting each other? Don't they see it? The void seeping through the walls. Or is it your presence, Harbinger, that grants me this awareness? I seek your leader. Stop toying with us and get it over with. If you can reach us. Ha! I give up. Redentions. You are free to go. I only wish to speak with your leader. Yeah, and as soon as we move, your soldiers will turn us into practice dummies. Men, leave the prison at once. Any who harms a redemption will be court-martialed. Now, move! Stand down, redemptions. No harm will come to you. You have my word. 
Harbinger, you must use your power. Show Ratika the vision. I expect as much disbelief from her as from her sister. Not here for tea. Never know. It was damn good tea. My companion has something urgent to show you. Is that the har Show me what exactly? Harbinger, use your power. Show Ratiga what you showed me. No thanks. No offense, Harbinger. You do look like the real deal, but I can't trust you for siding with Indrik here. Ratika. People can change. I realize what I have done. The different directions I might have taken. Different directions? Are you kidding? Oh, you've gone far beyond the point of no return. Radiger, please listen. I'm not here to fight. You and I, we face a greater enemy. Endrick, I don't know what to say. Here you are, fake harbinger and all, asking for help. After all the damage you've done? If you're gonna lie, you'll need to lie a lot better than this. This... This is just embarrassing. Harbinger, hurry! The vision! I thought I killed her. I, I was sure I had killed Vera. But how did she... Those others still got to her, but they let her die anyway? It matters very little how she died now. The harm is done. Had you not failed in your attempt? Well, yeah. They don't teach us owl anatomy at school. Hold on. I don't have to justify myself to you. You think you're so perfect, Emperor? You've done far worse than me. Murder? Torture? War? And you think you'll ever find redemption? <laughs> Not likely. You are right. I have harmed many in trying to bring our nations together. Including you, Ratika. And for that, I am... sorry. But now is not the time for blame. Now we need to act. I... Uh, was, was that... Indrik, what happened to you? Wait... Why am I acting all flustered? You're the one who should be flustered. You know what? Never mind. Indrik, if you're serious, I'll give you one chance to explain. One chance. You must seek out Vera's accomplices. Convince them to give you Gladden. The sword is vital to our success. Oh, easy. No trouble at all. And what will you be doing, sitting perched on your throne, waiting for me to deliver Cladden to you? After you retrieve the blade, I will use it to banish the void. I will need the Harbinger's help. She is best suited for the task. My ancestors have entrusted this to me. My lineage demands I take this responsibility for all our sakes. Okay, then. We're off to save the world! <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Yarbog left this world long ago. Before he did, he took precautions to prevent the Void's return. Those precautions have failed. Your presence is proof of that, Harbinger. But Yarbog saw to that as well. I will take you now to a special place within the temple. A chamber that has been sealed for 300 years. Look at all this corruption. The void is gaining ground with every breath we take. Silence. I expected as much with all this corruption. Yarbog's aura is still present in the temple. It must be attracting the void like a beacon. Perhaps the Void is not attracted to this place. Perhaps it is attracted to us. If Voden believes we're a threat to him, 
then we're on the right track. Indrik, back like a bad habit. Was easy to track you. Come here to pray? It's too late, I'd say. We have no time for a fight, you sodden fool. Greater matters are at hand. Should know. I smashed that crystal of yours. Showed you that bit there, though. Savage. I should. <laughs> ah, that's the intrigue I know. Ah, Ludimir. I've made peace with Ratica. Now go home. I must help the Harbinger. There's little time left. Ah, Harbinger? That one with you? The last time you're at my mercy, I thought I could help you find your true strength. <laughs> I was a fool. Did you hit your head in trick? When it was decided that I would be emperor, everything was taken from me. Childhood, family, love. With a grim focus, I was forged into a perfect ruler. I thought I could reforge you the way I was reforged. But thanks to the Harbinger, I finally understand. Becoming Emperor did not make me stronger. It broke me. So I tried to break you. Took your freedom. Your hope. I even took your eye. But where I broke, you held. You are the strong one. Is this an apology? Ah, the Harbinger is waiting. Go home, Ludimir. With all the corruption we saw today, it is clear that Vodin has grown in strength. I hope we are not too late. This is the place. The final words of Yarbog are inscribed within. Ah, you learn quickly. Be sure to protect this knowledge. This room was built by Pigaria's first emperor, Iron Trek the Unifier. It was said that Yarbog spoke to Iron Trek directly and the Emperor inscribed his words on these very walls. Harbinger, hmm, he was expecting you. You have awakened by my failings. The beast and the blade, your will must bind. Let me share a secret with you then. Vodun was not truly defeated by Yarbog. It is not easy to kill a god, as you may suspect. No, the Void was imprisoned, and its prison is the Sword Cladden. The writing on these walls, they are instructions for you, Harbinger. Unlock Cladden's seal. Enter the prison. Defeat the Void. Those were Yarbog's final instructions if all else failed. No metaphors. No riddles. Let us pray that Ratiga finds the sword before Voden completely escapes his prison. It's not what it used to be, unless I'm seeing double. But this is the same sword in your vision, yeah? It has to be. Huh? It's reacting to you. It didn't do that to me. Never thought I'd say this, but I hate fish. Someone doesn't want us messing with the sword, eh? So, what now, mate? What? What's going on, mate?
good answer, Harbinger. We have little time left, but I have an idea. Vodin is almost free, and you... You will need a weapon. It is but a shadow, but it will do. This, you can wield, Harbinger. As you fight, Harbinger, be warned. I have watched Vodin use fear and doubt as weapons, yet those are double-edged weapons. Do you see? Make Vodin doubt. The part of Vodin that has escaped will return to defend itself. but not defeated. Forgive me, Ludemy. You won't understand, and I'll never be able to rightfully explain. But it must be done. The godless priestess sacrificed herself, and together, the Harbinger and Vera defeated Vodin. Now, Locked away again in the Void's eternal prison. At last, the soul of the godless priestess flowed back to the world. But victory came at a bitter price. Rataka performed the Deathless ritual and became the Deathless herself, permanently. Born from this newfound power, the Deathless crushed the Pagarian invaders forcing a truce with the Empire. The Deathless became an exacting ruler, much like Emperor Indric, and the Deathless was worshipped and feared by all Rodentians. Drago was killed by the Deathless in an intense battle. Her soldiers instituted a memorial to never forget the General's bravery and fervor in bettering their nation and their well-being. Emperor Indrit was killed by Vodin's worshippers while searching for Cladden. A new emperor took his place and ushered a period of peace in Pagaria. At least for a time. Ludimir drank away his grief until one terrible night when he fell to his death. Drunken accident, rumors said. As for Vodin, Vodin was returned to its eternal prison, yes. But I still fear for our world. Vodin will do nothing else but wait for another opportunity to escape. I pray that you too, Harbinger, will wait and be ready to take arms against this force from the deep and continue to be our final rampart against darkness.
If you are ready, Harbinger, I will send you as far back as I can. The rest is up to you. For the last time, Priestess, why are you here? What's it, Yarbog's name? Indrik, I know who this is. The Harbinger. Is that so? Prove it. To summon Voden? Why? Why? The war is ripping us apart, Emperor. You are torturing the Rodentians, raiding their people, subjugating them. Is that not enough? But the Harbinger's vision. It shows a future where I summon Voden and fail to control him. This changes everything. Indeed. Killing me accomplishes nothing. I was merely a tool for those who seek Vodin's return. They will find another way. And what solution do you propose, Priestess? Removing Vodin, once and for all. Continue. Harbinger, in the vision you showed us, you were fighting Vodin. That was no mirror image of you. No, Vodin must have consumed one of your previous incarnations and chose to use it against you. Vodin's idea of poetic irony? Arrogance, certainly. It exposed a weakness, one we can use. Harbinger, there may still be a link between yourself and your previous incarnation. If you can kindle that link, you can control Vodin. You want to lead the Harbinger to Vodin? Yes, and we will need help. People we can trust. When Vodin understands the threat, he will throw everything he has at us. He is welcome to try. I was half thinking you would push the invasion while I was busy away. Any sane general would have advised the Emperor to do just as you say. <laughs> but where's the fun in being sane, right? Seriously, sister? Him? You're making me fight with him? We will address the wounds of the past, Ludomir, if we live through the day. The Harbinger and I will continue to Cladden. Do not let Vodin's servants interrupt us. Do you understand? No matter what. I can't help but feel like I only know part of the plan. Rataka, stop jumping ahead. We're getting there. Harbinger, near the end of your vision, that was not a mirror image you were fighting. No. Vodin revealed a weakness, one we will exploit. So, to be clear, you're asking us to die? On a hunch? Yes. Ha! Ah, well, okay then. <laughs> Do you smell that? They are coming.
one, two more show up. We have to keep them from the vault, Ludemir. Oh, I'm not complaining. I haven't had this much fun. Well, since the first time I fought a Pegarian. That wasn't a fight. Although you haven't gotten much better since then. Oh, -ho. maybe you should drop your blade and use your tongue. It's sharper. Focus, Ludemir. More are coming. Consumed. I know it. Odin's strength is returning. Reach out to your predecessor. You are one. Because of the Harbinger's determination. Vodin was banished inside a spiritual incarnation of the Sword Cladden. A prison within the prison. A banishment with no foreseeable return. Vera knew her judgment had been flawed. Without the Harbinger, she would have unleashed the Void upon the world. She moved quickly to confront and capture the worshippers of Vodin who tried to deceive her. But this time, she brought allies. Vera swore not to act alone. Not ever again. Emperor Indric signed a treaty with Rodentia. But war leaves its scars. And in a further step toward peace, Indric relinquished the throne. Freed from his role as Emperor, he rediscovered the joys of his youth. And years later, he had become a renowned entomologist. Ratica, to her relief, was dismissed as leader when the war with Pegaria came to an end. She played an active part in Rodentia's reconstruction, but then she mysteriously vanished, never to be seen again. Draga retired from the military and established a fighting academy where any Pegarian had the freedom to follow her example and transcend the constraints that stratified Pegarian races. Ludemir put aside the bottle and embraced his fighting career in earnest. When Vera sought help against the remnants of Vodin's cult, he eagerly answered the call. At last, Vera and Ludemir were family again. As for the Harbinger, she returned to the Tree of Life, standing guard against the Void until she was needed once again.